I'm Ash. And I'm Fatima. And this is Fatash. <laughs> Mike, where's my music? Drop the beat. Where is where's it at? Just crickets. Anywho, so <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, work has been a little tiring, but mm. I'm going to Vegas Tuesday night. So I should attack. I'll have a little, you know, three day vacation that I can hopefully enjoy mm-hmm. coming up. So it doesn't seem like much. Like it's it's really not that long because it's not even like a full three days like i fly out tuesday night so i so it's wednesday and thursday that i really have in vegas because then we fly out friday night so we could probably fit in like a show sometime friday afternoon so so what do you like to do when you go to vegas this is my first time. I am a oh. virgin. Oh my god! Yep, I'm a Vegas virgin. So right now, what we have planned, um, Thursday night, we're seeing Silk Sonic. Ooh. Yeah. So we're going to see Silk Sonic Thursday night. Not sure what we're going to do during the day Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, but... I do want to see the Jabberwockies and possibly the Magic Mike show. Mm. I'm not quite sure when. Like, I might see Magic Mike, like, Wednesday night. And maybe the Jabberwocky show either sometime during the day Thursday or during the day Friday before our flight. Because my aunt is actually leaving like saturday morning so we could always just drop our stuff off at her hotel and then do stuff before we need to head to the hotel so yeah and i'm gonna go to the casino at some point i might hit honestly i might hit up the casino the night i land because casinos are like 24 hours aren't they yeah (laughs) yeah i feel like they'd be i feel like they'd be open late and i have like 25 dollars in casino credit so it's like let me go ahead and like use that up maybe have some spending money for the two days i'm gonna be there i mean i'm gonna have spending money but even better if it's like somebody else's spending money so but yeah that's my plan so far and then whatever my grandma wants to do because nothing says vegas like spending it with your grandma yeah i don't see why not like this i don't see why not like anytime i go to a casino there's always the elderly hanging i know but my nana my nana is not that type she's the goes to church five days out of the week and goes to church conventions types of grandma so yeah but like what do you think she's praying for (laughs) the well-being of her family and some money nah she's a kept woman she has like an allowance for my grandfather so she works for fun she's like she's one of those women who don't have to work but -hmm. gets bored if she doesn't like she has an office like nana what what you need an office for (laughs) like you haven't done mary Kay in like 10 years you don't need a desk but it you know all that to say there are certain things i want to do in vegas that i don't need her judging me about (laughs) like first of all nana i'm 30 okay i'm a grown-ass woman if I want to, like, I don't know, maybe meet a dude at a lounge and spend the night with him, I could do that. Are you going to do that, Ashley? I, I Are don't. you going to do that? I, 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 I do you know. want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if I could be convinced to, maybe. I was, I was watching a video. There's a few, like, YouTubers I watch or uh, are in the last few weeks have been watching because they – just do nothing but go to different vegas hotels and just Mm -hmm. review them and stuff and there's this one dude who goes to vegas hotels and he's gonna spend like a whole like 30 days in vegas and blog oh that's too much so (laughs) much money but no no it's i don't want to pay for company like for me um i spent 10 days in in vegas one time and i was just that sounds tiring i it like it like killed my social battery like I, oh for sure 
Like, I mean, already four days, I think, is my max for being around my my family, you know. And Vegas just seems just overstimulating, you know. That, um, it, 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 that's how I felt in Vegas the minute I I stepped off the plane. It it was all too much, too many lights, too much wow. noise, too many people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's gonna be hot but i'm looking forward to it being hot because it's only gotten to like maybe 90 degrees maybe three times here in chicago and i live Ve by the vegas, lake so. vegas hat is not like midwestern hat because well i'm or ready even, or even southern like Mississippi. i want hat. it i want that dry desert heat i want to know what that's about i could tell you what it's about uh, you could tell me all you want but unless i experience it myself you, you know, know how nothing. no like in the midwest if it's hot outside and there's a breeze very often the breeze is like cooling mm -hmm. in vegas you can experience a breeze but it's like somebody opened up an oven oh <laughs> the breeze okay. hits you and it makes it worse <laughs> oh, damn. you know what that's actually a very good analogy because i know that, like opening up the oven is just like whew. <laughs> Mm -hmm. well when you put it like that i don't know i still want to i still want to experience I, it for myself yeah i like i, 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 like, heat. I like heat especially I too like i said like this summer in the midwest has been very cool like it's 69 degrees today and it's august mm -hmm. i saw a nigga in a full parka i'm like it's august my guy Dramatic. it's it's Dramatic. not that cold yet he's ready for the fall fashion he is ready or he's homeless i don't know because you know the homeless got to wear their whole life on their back so <sighs> unfortunately yeah. unfortunately but yeah so i'm looking forward to it if nothing else than just be away from work for two days yes or even more than that because i i took that friday off too so i'll have essentially an extended weekend so <laughs> But yeah, what about you? You got any last dregs of summer plans? Um, no, I just, I, I need to start working out again. I have to go through this every summer, but like this summer I got kind of knocked. Uh, I, I got behind on some things because like my mm -hmm. mom got sick. So, and I was uh, helping to take care of her and the recovery mm -hmm. was slow, but, um, uh yeah just i need to go outside more <laughs> yeah, get some I, sun and some air before it gets painful to breathe because that's yeah. what winters are like in wisconsin yeah i mean that's just winter in the midwest period yeah and i know that we only get a little bit of summer so uh just trying to get outside get outside and, and sweat and go for some hikes and some parks and, and that's about it everything i could do for free um and also dad offered to buy me some tennis shoes so like go play some tennis that works too yeah um but my big frustration this week has been uh depositing pennies at the bank oh god did i tell you about this last week yeah like how there's no more coin stars Oh, no, there are coin stars. I, I haven't seen them. I don't know where they are. But, like, if you take a big bag of pennies or, like, coffee can of pennies to your bank, um, mm -hmm. the machines that are supposed to be there to, like, count your change and then give you a deposit slip, like, they don't exist anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what happened to them. But then they'll say, well, you have to roll them. And then you're like, okay, well, I need I need the papers to roll them. And then they'll be extra fucking like stingy with like the rolling papers or, or whatever. So then you have to go around to multiple banks trying to get the rolling papers. And some don't even have them or, and they'll give you an asinine suggestion such as um, go to the dollar store and, and buy the papers. And I'm like, I'm not gonna spend dollars to roll pennies but like dad having an, an account that's way bigger than mine he asked for some rolling papers and the woman gave him everything 
So then I You know got, it's because you're well, black, right? Well, dad's black too. I know. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Everything is because you're black. No, it's except for when you're not. <laughs> that Oh yeah. I mean being at the bank, they can see your camera like, oh, this bitch ain't got two pennies to rub together. I ain't giving her nothing. But yeah. But that's dad. why I'm bringing my pennies now. These are the pennies I'm trying to rub together. So dad, they gave him like a big stack. It was everything I needed. I got all these pennies rolled, right? Mm -hmm. So then I take my canisters to the bank to deposit them. <laughs> and immediately when I roll in, the teller is looking at me like, oh. And I'm like, I'm here to deposit my coins. And he's like, are they rolls? And I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Ugh. and then he came out <laughs> and he had a, he brought out all these like trays for coins, and he brought out like the ones for the pennies and the quarters and the nickels. And I said they're all pennies. And he's like, Ugh. and then he called mm -hmm. somebody, <laughs> and, then, and then he only let me deposit twenty dollars worth of pennies. He just didn't feel like working that day. <laughs> and then he told me I had to go to the other branch to deposit my pennies. So that's what I have to do tomorrow. I have to go to this other branch to deposit the rest of my pennies. And so my big lesson has been if you ever have like a whole bunch of change, like don't bother to fucking roll it. The the banks are full of shit. Just take <laughs> it to the coin star and take your lumps and just get one of those fucking gift cards. I'm sure you'll find something to spend it on. I mean, can you put it towards like the, the Visa gift cards? No. That's <laughs> you have to it has to be like they have like a limited number of gift cards that you can get. It could be like Amazon or Lowe's or something Ugh. like that. That's so wack. Can you, it is so can you get like a gift so card for the market that you're in? So you get like a, a $250 Meyer gift card? No, Amazon, Lowe's, and a couple of other places where you can get that gift card. That's some bullshit. I mean, it, it least, definitely is. It at definitely least with, is. at least with Amazon, you know you can buy random shit that you're gonna want, or like books. Like you, you can get your money's worth on Amazon. I don't know an Amazon gift card. Somebody gave me an Amazon gift card three years ago. It still has money on it because I rarely order. Can I have it? No. <laughs> Why not? You ain't even using it. I'm going to use it on something. It's been four years, <laughs> and you haven't <laughs> figured anything out. I'll every figure time, something out eventually. You know what? You know what a big I deterrent. A, every you know time a big get, deterrent has what? been for me. What? what? Uh, all the time that I spent in Chicago living in an apartment mm -hmm. because somebody stole my shit. Once. No, I get that, but they have Amazon pickup lockers. Yeah, now I gotta walk to the fucking thing, and they'll in that locker they'll tell you like, okay, it's here, and if you don't come get it in the next forty eight hours, we're sending it back, and it's like, bitch, what? Wait. Well, you don't have to just like get physical goods from I know. I'll Amazon. Get a, I'll like get a it's twenty twenty two. There is you could buy, uh, you could just watch tv with the amazon gift card like there's so much tv all around me i don't need to buy any more tv i'm just saying there's things you can do with your amazon gift card i've i've also seen some people have used amazon as a means to pay for like premium podcasts mm -hmm. i'm not sure i'm not sure how that works like there's a podcast i listen to called double toasted and some of their subscribers to their site use their Amazon account to pay for their subscription. Hmm. So, you know, you can make use of an Amazon gift card. And again, you could just out. give it to me because I'll be buying books. No, I don't, no. <laughs> you just you just selfish. You just you just don't want to let me live my best life when you're I family. had no no, I went through so much for these fucking pennies. I'm not talking about your damn pennies. I'm oh, talking about the God. Amazon. I'm talking about the Amazon gift card that you've been sitting on for four years. Uh, I'll figure something out. I'm sure. Oh my I'm God! Sure. Look, you don't even. Want, you are so selfish. Mm -hmm. I'm not <laughs> you ain't even deny it. 
<laughs> no, no. How is that a bad thing? Self-preservation. Lord like, have yes. mercy. Yes. Mm. All right. Anyway, you know, more that that shampoo that I used to degunk my hair. Uh, the one I suggested. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so glad it's, it's almost out. Me it too, is. and I can't find that shit nowhere. See, maybe Amazon. I should have never put you onto it. All you long hair curly bitches are are using it up now. <laughs> we have so much hair too. Oh. We are killing those bottles. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Hopefully, it'll be at Target, but I haven't seen them at like. CVS probably getting myself. An another issue I've been having mm -hmm. is trying to fix my mother's Xbox 360. Okay, first of all, <laughs> I haven't heard of anyone being on an Xbox 360. Am I thinking of the right one? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I got the Ring right image death. in my head. That one. Hold on. <laughs> it was... It was the Xbox 360, and then up. Oh, don't look at my leg. <laughs> look at your leg. Don't look at me. Oh, don't look at that. Okay, you're so fine. pretty. Oh, look at those you. legs. Aren't they so shiny? Okay, yeah, that's the old boy. Not the old old one I was thinking of, but like second generation. Okay. What's your mom doing with an Xbox 360? The workout? She's playing like the workout games. No, no. I want, I want to, um, I don't know why she has it. <laughs> Trevor used to play games on it. She, we also have a Sega Genesis in here. She loves to play oh, Sonic wow. Pinball. Um, Trevor likes to play the, the old Sonic games and I like to play Mortal Kombat. Wow. Y'all are just. And I want to help her fix her Xbox 360 so that she can play Rock Band. Wow. <laughs> Just blast to the past. Sonic and oh my god, Jesus. So her you, her Xbox 360 got the, the ring of death though. Yes, and I've been trying, mm. struggling nope, for ain't nothing you can do. For two years trying to get it fixed. I called nah. Best Buy mm -mm. and I ended up in like a customer service loop and couldn't get anybody on the phone so then i texted them and they um they told me that they would get me an appointment at best buy so then i drove it all the way down to best buy had my appointment ready and everything and as soon as she saw it, she was like we can't fix this first of all that game is like it's old as fuck first of all like like i i think even when the ring of death was a big deal no one was really like I don't think it could be fixed. It was just like that's it. I sent it's like the blue. It was like the the blue screen of death on a on a Windows computer. It, Xbox is mine, by Microsoft, so I sent mine in twice and it got fixed twice. Well, we're on to the Xbox One, so nobody's trying to fix your vintage ass Xbox. Fuck that! I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay for new shit. Especially when I like the old shit. I just want to play some old ass games on my old ass console. Well, like I said, okay. th there is still a Sega Genesis in this house. I mean, I, people probably have, um, what do they call them? Emulators. So it's like a way of playing old games on a, on newer systems or like computers. Why, why would I want to pay for it? It's you not. Should. I already have the shit. It's not necessarily. It. It's it's not necessarily paying for. It. Like I think some emulators might be free. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a way that you can still play your old ass games without breaking the bank. Yeah, just fix it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I took it to Best Buy. They were like, "We can't fix it. Take it to um, you break, I fix." So then I called up you break I fix and they said, yeah, we could fix it. So I took it there. Oh my God. The the person who was supposed to be like processing my order kept trying to sell me shit. And I kept trying to tell her like, look, 
the place where I parked, the parking meter doesn't work, but I wanted to run in here before my appointment. I was late for my appointment. So I want you to like process this as soon as possible and just, just let me go. But she kept talking over me and trying to sell mm -hmm. me shit. And I was so frustrated. Well, yeah. So I'm just like not having a good week interacting with people. I mean, it's rare to interacting with people. It's not going to be stressful. Except for me. It's not <laughs> stressful with me. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be. Oh, okay. So you you have a trailer that you wanted us to see, right? Is that Um, I did add a trailer. I thought Mike was going to put something up regarding that. He's still talking about the Xboxes. But yes, um so I saw this trailer for it's called Do Revenge, I believe. And it gives me like Heathers. I actually haven't seen the movie Heathers. It's on my You list haven't of seen the movie Heathers? I've not. I you keep hearing about it. I Heathers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's on my list because it sounds like something I would enjoy in that it's kind of cynical, dark humor. Um, so it gives me Heathers, but it's uh like just the color palette is just more pastels and more modern. And mm -hmm. one of the characters in the movie, um, Maya Hawk, Ethan Hawk's daughter. And what was it? Is Ethan Hawke and um, Uma Thurman? Overall, yes, Uma Thurman. Um, she's also in uh, Stranger Things, and the character she plays in, in Stranger Things, Robin, might as well be the same character in Do Revenge. Just based off what I'm seeing from the trailer, wow. it's like this is just Robin again. Which I'm not mad at, because I like Robin in Stranger Things. But yeah, yeah. so I figured this might be a movie that you might have an interest in. It's not, you know, Asians or K-dramas or history. But it but, is revenge. <laughs> but it's revenge and your enthusiasm for Heather is just further... Makes and think, also, oh. I wrote a dissertation on positive and negative reciprocity. That's oh. revenge. It's negative reciprocity. Oh, well, then I would love to have your opinion on this movie when it comes out. But Mike, would you be able to roll that beautiful bean footage? I spent 17 years meticulously curating the perfect life. I had the perfect friends, the perfect boyfriend. Maybe you could send me something to keep me company. But you know where all of that got me? Absolutely destroyed. Over there. Oh. Max ruined my life. He'll never get away with this. Hey, do you want a ride? I know what it's like to get fucked over by someone you thought you could trust. Carissa Jones, she started a nasty rumor about me. She told everyone that I tried to hold her down and kiss her. Turned me into this predator. She destroyed me. I wish we could hire people to take them down. We should team up and do each other's revenge. Don't you want to make her pay? I don't want to make her pay. I want to burn her to the ground. Whoa. <laughs> You're giving off some serious Glenn Close and Fatal Attraction energy. Glenn energy. You ready to be my woman on the inside? Ooh. Your new vibe is high status cunt. If you love it, you love it. Let's start with Carissa. She'll be a cinch. I can ruin her in my sleep. Why will Carissa be easy? It is much easier to destroy a girl. Carissa, right? We've met before. You called me a human Birkenstock. Cool. Dudes, that's another story. I just want to say how sorry I am for what happened to you. It's in your honor that I'm founding a new club. The Cis Hetero Men Championing Female Identifying Students League. You're going to expose Who's that? that he's a fake woke, misogynist, hypocrite. And then we're going to kill him. You're not serious. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking serious. Teenage girls. We're psychopaths. She framed me! <sighs> Thank you.
Are you in therapy? God, no. Why? Cool. Is do revenge even the correct grammar? Oh, I'm sorry, Schoolhouse Rock. Are you dragging my sentence structure right now? I'm excited. <laughs> I swear, these trailers are always so fucking loud. I can't say anything. I but, love their school uniforms. Can I just say that? I, I love the girl so from cute. Riverdale. The girl from Riverdale. And oh, the, the girl, the girl with the black hair? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Us recognizing different people. I was like, <laughs> I don't know who she is, but I know, I know that's Robin. I, as soon as I saw her, I was like, Riverdale, Riverdale, Riverdale. <laughs> is, she, is she the same character, essentially? Uh, she seems like it, rich, kind of bitchy, um, mm -hmm. but then also Riverdale, that that show just went so completely off the rails. It, it never did have, like, a firm grounding in, like, reality, and it was very, it started off a little bit, like, Twin Peaksy, and then it was, it was just real crazy. I think, I think by the time she's still in high school, but runs a speakeasy, I, 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 <laughs> First of all, you need an alcohol license. You can't even serve alcohol as a hostess in a restaurant if you're not at least 18. I know because I worked as a hostess at Rare Robin and I wasn't allowed to touch the alcohol for guests until I was 18. I started when I was 17. <laughs> anyway, that show just sounds like you got to suspend your disbelief to an extent. But like some of these shows be pushing it. Yeah, the, the, the Riverdale pushed it off off of a cliff, like from the beginning, but then like just even more later on down the line. Like this show or this movie anyway, doesn't look like it'll push it. Like it looks like it's satirical for sure. But um, they also are like with the polo, like you're, come on, you're, you're yeah. talking about I've Heather's never there. been subjected to rich people of that level. Like, I fortunately didn't have to go to a high school that had such a clear cut hierarchy of like the rich kids and the bully kids. I mean, you knew who the popular girls were just because they just dressed better. But mm -hmm. one of the most popular girls in my school was also our salutatorian. So she was cool. She still is. She like, ridiculously cool and she will stab you if she needs to like it was like she was a thug it was great she was like that perfect bend of like hood black chick but very smart she's not gonna like bully people just because they're different she's like i'm gonna mind my business you mind your business don't come at me because i might stab you like i'm about that life but i'm also about not going to jail I loved it. She, had, she even has her family name tattooed on her back. Like, you know how, like, like gangsters will have, like, their full family name across their whole back? That is her. It's so cool. I love it. Anyway. Now, all that uh, to say, playing, these movies like to exaggerate those, brought me those into mean contact girl types. With a, with a lot of people who are just crazy rich. <laughs> But and some of them are nice. about it? Like, why can't you just be some, crazy some rich but philanthropic? Phil 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 That's not uh, They're just like any other type of person. Um, some of them are bitchy and some of them are not. They're just like everybody else. And you wouldn't even know that they have what they have unless you like recognize yeah. their last name. Because like some of them right. like... Like their their family names are big in in Wisconsin and particularly in Milwaukee, but like some some house. are like I took a college for kids course when I was growing up and I made the mistake of like enrolling in a poetry class. Oh God! And those kids, some some of them did like fully talk to you with like their eyes closed, like. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, and I just kept thinking, like, this this is a lot. <laughs> God damn, I'm so fortunate. I mean, to be fair, I didn't go to school with a lot of, like, rich white kids either. So I feel like that's a different kind of vibe entirely. Like, rich white folks versus, like, rich black folks. 
I've never been around rich black folks. No, I, I have, think about it. And is it the same vibe? You know that episode of Atlanta where they go to I think other like they go to one of their auntie's house or whatever and they are like talking about Jack and Jill. No, I actually have not seen um Atlanta. Okay, that's you you have to see <laughs> I probably know what you're talking about. You have to see Atlanta. Uh that episode when they're talking about like Jack and Jill and all of that kind of stuff. Yes, I I know people who were in Jack and Jill and did those like black debutante stuff. Oh, I know Jack and Jill though. Mm -hmm. My um for some reason my, my I said my grandma. My mom was trying to put my niece into Jack and Jill and I'm like what we not even in the same tax bracket for jack and jill never mind the fact that part of like the um application process is like an interview with the parents and my sister is not with the father of her child and she's currently partnered with a woman. So the fact that, sure. that 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 would be something that she would have to think about before applying is is, is like I I've know. always as as long as I've been aware of Jack and Jill, I've been aware of that it's not for me. Um <laughs> they have a very particular family structure that they want to foster. Yeah. And it is I think it's narrow-minded and outdated. It's very narrow-minded. I I just saw an article, well not article, it's like a news story earlier this week about a little girl whose both their parents had died. Like I'm not sure what happened to the mother, but the father had died in like um a work accident. Mm -hmm. And her aunt adopted her. And her aunt just so happens to be married to a woman. Okay. And, you know, now that they had, like, legal custody of her niece, they're, like, going to the school that she was already enrolled in just to, like, you know, get familiar with the, like, the PTA, mm -hmm. get her uniform for the new year and all that. And the school was like, yeah, can't attend her no more. So oh! Like, because, of, because of her guardian's lifestyle. Because... She was going to um like a Christian, she was going to a Christian school, like a, a Baptist mm -hmm. school or whatever. And it was all like, we teach that marriage is between a man and a woman and blah, 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 like all of that, which I've been to a, a Catholic school. So I'm familiar with, you know, Bible study being like darn near a subject during some of the lessons and i mean if that's the type of school you're at fine if you want to push a certain agenda you can that's your school that's your religion what have you but it was like dag y'all really didn't want any chance of dissension in your lessons because you know this is a little girl she was like in kindergarten like five so like they were that worried that she was going to like say something and be like but i'm being raised by my aunt and she has a wife like they didn't even want the idea that families can look different than man woman as young as kindergarten and it's it's so sad like this little girl has gone through so much the one consistency you think she would still have is attending school with her right. friends right. and she couldn't even have that and at the very least the community did reach out to the family like even other christian schools that were like yo she could attend our school you know right. we're we we about teaching the word of christ too but we're not about to force you know archaic ideas of what a family looks like on you we're, we're just trying to raise these kids right so it's rough out here man Trying to get your kids a decent education. Right. It's oof. Yeah. Power to the people who are doing it. I'm like, that alone is why I don't want kids. I don't want to have to deal with all the well, bullshit. Also, like, the pandemic has, has made just having kids, like, so much more difficult. Because, um, 
there's just so much more risk associated with going to school now. So you're going to send your kids back to school in the middle of like two pandemics because monkeypox is mutating in a way that it never has before. And now it's spreading God. like that's that. Is it is it an, ugh, is it encountering kids, too? Because like as yeah. far as I yeah. Cause I'm, it, it, honestly, it, I'm surprised kids haven't gotten it. They have faster. They faster, have. I mean, you know, like, right. like that one disease or not disease. Um, that one sickness kids would get hand, what, hand, foot, and mouth, like that rash that kids would get, mm, and they literally yeah. just call it hand, foot, and mouth. It's also so animals have it too, and it's like hoof and mouth disease. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. There's so many threats to your children nowadays. So it's like, well, I'm gonna just keep my kid at home and homeschooling, but like, it's a full time job. How are you out? Yeah, how are you work? Like, there's a reason why people go to school and are hired to teach. It's a yeah. job. Uh, also, there's a teacher shortage uh, because yep. teachers are quitting because, like, which I don't blame them for. They're not getting paid enough. They're not getting enough support. There are shootings happening. Oh yeah, and then okay, so a twin demic and school shootings. So I. Uh, yeah that no. alone oh and did we ever fix the baby formula shortage what's up with that uh, that was a whole thing too i thought that was over i don't know they just haven't been talking about it that's how these news cycles be they'll be talking about it for like two weeks and then you don't hear anything same with the war in ukraine what's on with the war in ukraine haven't heard a whole lot about that what about the people at the border what about the kids that got separated from their families? Ah, uh, yeah. What, what the, happened what to kids? that? What about the kids still in captivity? Like, the news cycle will hype up shit for like two, three weeks, and then it's on to the next story. Mm -hmm. Usually, some bullshit like celebrity gossip type shit. Yeah, you know. So it's like, <sighs> it's a lot, and I don't, I don't want to bring kids into this bullshit of a world that we're in right now right where polio is coming back <laughs> polio of all goddamn things <laughs> like what the fuck we just going back in time everything's just going back in time we got polio now fucking women's rights and contention spanish flu. <laughs> oh god not the spanish flu don't can't touch nobody like i mean i ain't want to touch nobody anyway but like yeah, what if I wanted to have a random hookup in Vegas? I can't even do that because I'm like, I don't know where this nigga been. Right. On top of, on top of, I don't know where this nigga been. On, I could just get monkeypox just from him holding my hand. Well, also it spreads from droplets, so he doesn't have to touch you. I know. He, he could just <laughs> hand me a at the bar. Yeah, it's a mess. Ah, uh, I, I can't have a whole phase in this this world. I don't see me having a whole face though. I can't. I have trust issues. So me just being just out in these streets for anybody. What is if your hoe thing. is like a jack in the box? Like what if your inner hoe what? is a jack <laughs> is a jack in the box? I have <laughs> never heard that term. What? It just pops Where? out randomly yeah. if you crank me enough times. Yeah, like I just don't... going along, going along, going along, and then bam, like whole face. Like <laughs> I, that's that's not how my inner hole works. <laughs> that, about... That's not how I work. I if I all things need to align or nothing's going to go but down. I already told do, you. It, then it just uh, brings your hoe out all at once. I already told you about the almost hookup I had, and I had to shut it down because I wasn't feeling it. That was his fault. Yeah, it was, but <laughs> he was there and willing, so I could have just done whatever. But then he was like, nah, because of I know, but I'm, him. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know. But he, if he, you change the person, like you change one variable, you change the guy, and then, mm -hmm. like, Damn. The hoe could just jump out. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that how your hoe works? Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. I want to witness this. 
You don't. It's startling. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like being a it's gremlin at midnight. Myself and others. And then I'm so trash. I'll act. Like, I'll try to act like it didn't even happen. Oh girl. <laughs> like it's a werewolf. He just transformed. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I wasn't myself. Like who? What's your talking about? Not me. Wow. <laughs> that is scary. Because you're cognizant of the fact that you're being ignorant. I don't know what works. The fact <laughs> that you un- were just unable to stop it. <laughs> wow. That's wild. Like, ugh, I am acting so trash. I'm going to deny this later. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost the dude immediately. <laughs> Got that man questioning his whole life. Like, what happened? I thought we had you a good time. Him. I thought we connected. <laughs> I mean, some people have actually had, like, successful relationships, you know, out of a one-night stand or, you know, a hookup on the first date type thing. Not many, but, you know... <laughs> It happens. I've heard of it happening. You know, you ain't got to wait till the third date to sleep with somebody. If you want to sleep with them, sleep with them. Just wear protection. That's my thing. Like, I don't care if you do it on the first date, but you better have protection because you don't know him or her. Mikey Fox then put like a pause. (laughs) Not on a whole lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I had a friend, they just said how um, they were in New York, the epicenter of monkeypox, and had hooked up with someone that they had not seen since 2017. I'm like, Mm. bruh, you were in New York hooking up with someone that you had not had contact with since 2017 during a monkeypox epidemic. But also, like, I, 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 I never want to go backwards. I never want to go backwards. Well, no, no exes for me. Well, okay, the exes are one thing, but like you know, maybe someone that you were feeling, but things just never aligned because of. I don't have anybody like that in my life. Mm. It's like, girl, ain't you hungry? And it's like, yes, I'm hungry. And it's like, wanna wanna go back and finish that sandwich that you threw in the trash three years ago? Like, no. no. <laughs> I mean, if it's in the trash, no. But if it's in the refrigerator, I throw them all in the trash. <laughs> Look, I like me some leftovers. I get excited by leftovers. I'm like, ooh, I really did like that sandwich, and I get to have it for lunch now. But no. damn, if all the dudes that used to mess with are like, yeah, in the trash you no. go. Well, like it's like once you know we've ran our course. Well, that's it's different. Like, there's like there's you running your course. There's like, running when your course. I see somebody that I broke up with is like ah ghost. Yeah, no, that's different. How are you out here? I'm so I'm lie? talking I'm talking people that you never had the chance to start a course with. Like y'all were going to, but you know maybe you had to move away, or they had to move away, or maybe they were like in a relationship, so it wasn't a good time. So then you just happen to circle back around. So if there's still like, you know, good blood between you, I don't see anything wrong with like actually trying to explore a relationship with them beyond what it was before. But no, if you've already run your course with someone, I probably wouldn't. I would. It would all depend on why the course ended, you know. I feel like I'm the type that I would just break up with you just because I'm just done. I'm just done. No, Wasn't you. nothing you did. I'm just over it. <laughs> and it's so sad. I don't want to be that person, but I can feel it. I don't want to put nobody through that. So uh, I just... And also, like, I don't want to see you once I've, like, gathered myself and I've put my hoe back in the box. <laughs> It's like who you saw was not me. In fact, that is like a point one percent of the time me. So don't get used to it. You ain't gonna see that a lot. But what if this is the guy that can just unleash the hoe on command, like a Pokemon? 
He just no. he just has all the gym badges. <laughs> so when he wants to, he knows just how to summon the hoe. Yeah, I need to get away from that person. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It's like I do not want someone who has that much control over my libido. You <laughs> you gonna be you gonna be a problem, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My friend all like my my friends were like because I told them I was like if I met a dude who had like a deep voice I'd be in trouble because uh, I, that voice would just put me in a state and I don't I can't afford that my friends were all like I want that for you I'm like what no I mean I would want it but also to say that after I just said that I would be under his control y- y'all just trying to sabotage me. They just want to see, like that would be I, fun. They, <laughs> like, yeah, everyone just wants to see me. That like, would be fun for them. Yeah, no, I under, I totally understand why other people want to see it. Me dominated in some way, me just being docile, <laughs> a whole me. No, it's such a rare occurrence that it's like, can that even happen? So I get it, but good luck oh. finding them. Well, maybe he's out in Vegas. Uh, but what if he lives in Vegas? Uh, exactly. <laughs> it just have to okay, be like a but, Vegas fling. Um, so I watched season two of Attack on Titan. Ah, uh, what'd you do? Binge it in a weekend? No, season two is super short. Okay, so I, I, we were going like one uh, one episode a day or whatever. Then yesterday we watched two, and we came to the end. We came to the end of Attack on Titan. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> so well, you're gonna have to refresh my memory on last week when we talked. Yeah, um, you were telling me that the Armor Titan and the Colossal Titan were were cute and i was like why is she talking to me about the armor titan and the colossal titan we haven't seen them in so long uh, i thought they was gone. wait uh, i said they i said they were what cute you oh. said they were fine you said they were good looking because i had i said so many questions. i said the armor titan was okay low-key the and armor you asked titan me was. who else i thought was a titan and yeah. i was like i had no thoughts on who was a titan but it also dawned upon me how come nobody else is asking like who else is a titan like once (laughs) once aaron and annie transformed i'd be testing i'm like everybody give me a finger i'm cutting it right (laughs) especially what what is her name is it like commander hanji or something like the scientist yes i uh, like she should have been on that she should have been questioning everything and everybody honestly that's a good question and i was i was trying to think if at some point later in the in the series they addressed that like maybe hanji did have a plan to Uh... um do that but i don't think it ever came up because honestly it was it was armin anyway who had determined that annie was the titan annie was the the female titan and when it comes to did they reveal who the armored and colossal titan was in season yes two? they did in one single line and it happened like in the background and i, I had know because i said what the fuck is this show what did you just say right <laughs> look it got everybody and they were just like yo so aaron we're the colossal and armored titan and we're like wait what how you just even aaron was looking like wait what they try to drop that casually in conversation and then just keep walking and then just be like, if you want the walls to keep standing, you gotta come with us. Like, yeah. no, wait, what did you just say? I mean, because it was like, I'm telling you this as both a veiled threat, but also like, are you on our side kind of thing? Like, we need you to come with us. Are you on our side? Okay, well, you gotta be, because otherwise we're gonna fuck up this wall too. I was mad. I think it was it was the saying, it was the armored titan that has said it, right? I think so. It was yeah, Rainer, right. Yeah, Rainer. So yeah. Rainer, I think it's with Rainer, and I'm not sure if this was made 
clear in this in the second season he's dealing with borderline personality disorder and ptsd do you mean like not borderline but what is it called it the old term for it is like it's not quite multiple personality disorder but he is having some kind of identity. Yeah, he's definitely he has an identity. He's he's having an identity crisis. He's flipping back and forth between being a soldier that is mm-hmm. fighting against the Titans and being a warrior yeah. for the Titans. Yeah, yeah, that 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 they made clear. Yeah, and it's heartbreaking, honestly, because like he doesn't know where he where he stands anymore. Right, because the colossal titan, what's his name, Bertolt? Yeah, Bertolt. Is that it? Yeah. He was, he was like, he was trying to explain to Aaron. He was like, "Look, we we really did bond with y'all. We really do like y'all, but also we had this other mission that we had to do." And I was getting so mad at Aaron because I was like, every like once again, just like in the first episode of the second season, when the beastly titan. Uh, throws dude's horse and then mm-hmm. is trying to talk to dude. I was like, you should be asking questions and trying to talk to this beastly titan instead of trying to fight him because yeah. <laughs> obviously there's some shit that you don't know and you could gain that information by talking to them. Yeah. And but no, Aaron goes Rawr! and then yeah. <laughs> uh, uh and tries to fight him and then and then gets broken down to the nubs and then keep trying to fight him with his nubs. I was mad. <laughs> it's it's unfortunate. Um, like Bertold, Bertold and Annie were both in the mindset of like, yeah, these niggas are cool, but we got a mission, nigga. Like, mm. you know, we're here. Like, they're not our friends. They're not our friends. But as you'll learn with Rainer. And then it's, also, it's, com- it's complicated for Rainer. Like Rainer essentially is looking for um, acceptance, for lack of a better term. He's looking mm-hmm. for acceptance, and he's trying to live up to all of these ideals. And when he's confronted with ideals that conflict with the ideals that he was taught, he has a break. Mm-hmm. And it's, again, one of the most heartbreaking things to watch as the series goes on is Rainer's character development. Okay. It's, it's very interesting. I be, I'm very interested in your take on watching him as he uh, moves forward. Um, but yeah, that revelation was wild. It was just so like... In just one line, dropped one it very line. casually. I, I was like, "Wait a what? fucking minute! Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah. Um, also- and to tell it to Aaron of all people, like Aaron ain't about to hear you <laughs> explain yourself. All he needs to know is, "Oh, you killed my mom." Uh, but you're a Titan. We fight. Yeah, yeah. It's on site. No, um, good goddamn well he can't fight. Also, there's this relationship between Krista slash Historia and mm. Emir. Yes. And Emir seems to not have been in on whatever the fuck the plan was. Not at all. With the Coloss- Colossal Titan nope. and the Armor Titan. No. She seemed to seems to have been on her own and has been on her own for a long time because at some yeah. point she said something about being 60 over 60 years old yes i believe she was in her titan form for well over 50 years and god she is an ugly titan oh my very god ugly. very oh. smeagol looking all fours yeah straggly hair Big yeah, head. I don't even know what they call that type. What they was that the jaw titan? I don't know, but I know Connie calls her ugly. Oh, <laughs> Connie will call a bitch ugly. ugly in a heartbeat. 
I gotta look it up. I can't remember what Emir's Titan was called. Um, but yeah, Emir, she just happened to cross paths with um, Rainer's crew. Okay. And that's how she got her ability. Oh, also she said that she stole her her tight her titan yeah. powers. She her titan power. They showed yeah. her backstory. She was a street urchin kid, and mm. then some like religious types. Uh, yeah, she was, type? the, she was the she was the jaw titan. <laughs> she easily Mike, has the ugliest jaw titan. What'd you say? I said, Mike, have you seen this too? I don't know if Mike's actually watched Titan. Oh, he goes. So, okay, thank you. yeah, Emir, Emir's Jaw Titan, the ugliest of all the Jaw Titans, because you see this it. This one Jaw Titan. Well, has I explained how the Titan ability is passed on yet? Nope. Okay, well, it's not really a spoiler. Do you want me to explain, or you just want to wait till you watch it? I'll wait till I watch it. Okay, but so. All that to say, other there have been other jaw titans that you will see. And hers is the ugliest, honestly. Like, the other two, a lot cooler. Like, they actually look like they are for battle. Hers just look like a big-headed bitch With out in the wild. Booty. Big. <laughs> just jumping around. Like, usually what your the back of the armor titan, and that's when dad came downstairs and saw what we were watching and was like, what the, what the fuck? And it's like, <laughs> usually, you know, the titans are named after, like, you know, their, their specialty, you know, you got the attack titan, Aaron's out here just attacking you on sight. You got the female titan, it's a titan with titties. You got the colossal titan, it's fucking huge. You got the armored titan, it's got like armored plates on its body. The jaw titan's power is in its jaw, like its jaw strength. You don't really get that sense from how Emir wielded the titan. Like she was just hopping all over the place and she got a big head, but you didn't get a sense that her power was in her jaws. Like okay. you'll see, they also haven't gotten holders. to like what powers people have because it okay. So Annie could make herself hard out and she could do that thing where she cocooned herself into a crystal, yeah. Um, she she had more ability with her crystallization. They seem to think that Aaron can do the same thing because like they came up with this plan in season two that he was going to patch up the wall, yeah. uh, he still ain't done it yet. Uh, that seems to still be the plan for season three. Uh, they did not find, like, they did not find, like, where there's a breach in the walls. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, like, Connie's village. I guess at the end they could com they came to the conclusion that everyone just turned turned into a titan. So, like, also they just, like... The question is, how, though? How? Yeah, they didn't. Did they everybody didn't turn into a titan. They and, did not get to that. And again, the reason why it's so hard for them to find a breach in the wall is because of how far that last wall is from the rest oh. of society. You know, oh. they have like it's the light, the furthest of the wall, of all the walls. And that's why it's like it's taking them so long to like, you know, ride their horses along the perimeter mm -hmm. to try to find where's the breach while also avoiding these fucking types that are coming at them. Right. So um, eventually they will get to a point where it's like, all right, have we located it? What's going on? Oh, but, okay. Uh, also, like, yeah. they needed. Krista is important for some reason. Yes. We don't know why. <laughs> that will be revealed by... I'm gonna say next season. And they keep teasing us with this key and they won't ever go to Shiganshina and tell us what the key is about or what his daddy did to him in the basement. We still have not it's... seen his daddy. Listen. You won't see specifically what he did because it didn't happen in the basement. It happened like in the forest. 
Like, that's what you see in the flashback. Like, his dad is like, we gotta do this! Blah! And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> that gets revealed later in, like, the fourth season. Like, you'll see the full breakdown of how his dad got to the conclusion that we get to. And it's gonna blow your mind. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Because when I saw it, I'm like, wow. Um... But the key is kind of a misdirect too. <laughs> like okay. the scene with the key was so funny to me because I was the scene came out. I'm like, are you fuck kidding me? Well, I'm and already they, annoyed because I'm already like, stop showing me that fucking key if you ain't gonna tell me about the goddamn key. <laughs> yeah, like the see, you'll see what the key goes to, but it's not what you initially thought. Okay. Which was like, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Let's go already. It's been like five years. Um, but yeah, so you learned a little bit about Amir and Bertold and Annie and Rainer. Um, and there was like one other person with and, them. And also Krista knows the secret of the walls, but she ain't say shit yet. And also ain't nobody ask her shit. So like. Well, because nobody would think to ask her. She's just a cute little blonde girl that's so nice to everybody. But they told her, but like the dude, the religious dude who said, this is what I'm going to tell you and I'm not going to tell you shit else and you can just lock me up. He said like she knows something about the secret of the walls and then they was like okay we'll go ask her and then they don't they go get her and they don't go ask her uh, i'm annoyed so that's a little complicated in terms <laughs> of like yes she does know but she doesn't know that she knows yeah that will be explained it's not her fault like he's right she knows she's she is a pivotal uh point to a lot of what's happening in the world it's just not her fault that she does not know mm -hmm. um which i found so interesting that they made her such a pivotal point it was like wait huh okay um yeah, it runs deep. It's a lot of like political intrigue. Like you, you go into the show thinking it's just gonna be these ugly giant monsters attacking people and people fighting against them. And by the time you get into season three onwards, it is like a historical political intrigue. Okay. Also Not a whole lot of like Titan battle. Like, yeah, once you start getting into season three, the enemy is less titans and more about opposing political sides okay because that was another thing like somebody was talking to aaron and he, they were like don't you want to know who the real enemy is and i'm sitting up here watching like yes i want to know who the real enemy is and then so, and then somebody said something about krista and emir just shut the fuck up and mm -hmm. i was like damn because it. emir like the folks in the wall have their idea of who the real the real enemy is, mm -hmm. but Mir really knows who the real enemy is. Yeah, and Does that's by that virtue because of the time that she spent as a goddess or as a titan, or um, the fact that both. when she both. ate somebody, she untightened. And then I was thinking, like, wait, are the titans eating people so that they can become people? like yes uh, uh, actually actually yes, yes. that is oh. that is that is part of it the reason why okay. the minds titans are running around is and eating people is like it's an innate biological instinct for mm. them to um find the one that they can eat that would allow them to transform uh, and that was also why what's his name not rainer but the other guy myrtle yeah, he was like, why'd you eat my friend? <laughs> and she was like, I don't know. <laughs> but, then I don't she, know. <laughs> but then after she ate him, she was a woman again. Yeah. because there's you only there's... need to eat like the right person? And then once you eat the right person, you can tighten and untighten at will? Yes. Ah. And they will explain what makes you the right person. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's part of why the Titans run around trying to eat people. They're trying to find the quote unquote right person. Mm-hmm. And they themselves in Titan form, at least as the like the common Titan form, they don't have a high enough intelligence to really discern uh-huh. what will make um the one that they're going after change them back some of them do like some of them do have a higher enough intelligence that they are able to specifically if there's someone in the area that has the ability they will just make a a beeline for that person Mm. um so that that'll be very interesting for you to see unfold um but yeah it's 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 actually threefold, um, the information Emir knows. She knows based on her time as Otis. She knows based on her time as a Titan. And then she knows based on eating that person. Mm. Which they Also, will. she's over 60 years old and she can read some ancient language. Yep. That even the other Titans can't read. Yep. Because she's like 60 plus years old. Huh. Over here macking on a 16 year old. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very obsessed. <laughs> yes. Because like even. Even if we went more based on what her body's age is. She still looks a good 18, 21. And Krista's over here. Big 14, 15. Yeah. You know, this ain't even like a motherly thing. Oh, Mike said we got to wrap up. Ah, okay. All right. Well, okay. He said we could end the trailer. Is it the trailer for season two or season three? It's the trailer for season three. Okay. Well, roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah. Gaki no koro, yatsu to kurashita jiki ga aru. Yeah, Levi. おお、I am, I am. Because also, at the end of the season, uh, I think it was Hanji who said, like, she was talking about Connie's village. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's Levi, but it's one of the dead-eyed people who was like, people, so the Titans are people. That's who I've been carving up. (laughs) And he seemed like he felt bad about it. And I was like, when Aaron finds out his people, he ain't gonna give a fuck. <laughs> he ain't gonna give two goddamn fucks. Like, you, come on now. Uh, but but I Connie's guess a sweet boy. What'd you say? He, Connie's a sweet boy. He is. He is. I, I like Connie so far. <laughs> uh, all right. But I, I guess that's it for this for this week. Um, next week, I'll, I will continue to Watch season three and, and get your probably, mind blown. I probably but won't come to the end of it. new revelation. But yes, yes, because I like there have been several points already where I've said, what the fuck is this show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are the best kind of shows where you don't even know where it's going anymore. You're like, I'm just here for the ride. I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. Yes. Yes. All right. Well. I've been Ash. And I've been Fatima. And this has been Fantash.
Oh my god, my lips didn't even move on that. What the? Where is my mic? 